Yep. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd, and it's our day off. So I am gonna go get breakfast, well, brunch really, with one of my best friends from college who I played with at Wazoo. We're gonna go get a brunch and then I am gonna spend the rest of the day thrift shopping in Seattle because I haven't been able to do that in a while. But I just went down to the package lockers and picked up this package I've been waiting for for a while from Elwood Clothing. I love them and it's perfect for fall because I ordered some more sweatsuits, which I really don't need. Sorry, Cash is playing with this toy in the background. But I ordered one pair of shorts just because I love wearing sweatshorts, even though it's about to be fall. But look how cute these are. So cute. And then I just ordered two sets, uh, one white one and one like washed brown of the sweatpants sets. So cute, and the color is like perfect. But their sweatsuits are so comfy and just like loungy, and that's totally my vibe. Actually, I lied, I got two pair of shorts. Sorry. I got this brown baby tee to go with those sweatpants, and then I got the same of those sweatpants in white, and the baby tee in white, and then I got the shorts to match the top for when it's summertime because these shorts just go with everything, like a vintage tee, a baby tee, a tank top, honestly, whatever floats your boat. So this is the final stack. Maybe I'll try them on later. I don't have time right now because I am going to make myself a smoothie so that I'm not too full by the time I go to brunch in about an hour and a half. So I'm going to make a smoothie and then I'm gonna clean up my apartment really quick because I want to come back to a clean apartment. So I still haven't went to the store to get yogurt. So we're just gonna have to do without, but it's okay. This is just to tie the yogurt. Also, if you ever have spinach that is about to go bad, just freeze it and use it as a Zip on vino and then it hit one. My baby holding me down while this room's spinning around. Tell on my mouth and then she kisses. She was a little too thick. Let's try this again. But promise I'm grateful Shawty give me what I want and need So she can get just what she want from me Even if just a bit of company Yeah, of company Shawty, you got that something Did I? Oh, I thought I spilled on myself But it's really just on my camera So I am just gonna sip on this until I go get brunch at noon. I'll probably finish this in like 20 minutes because I drink things really fast. But I am now going to put my couch back together how it usually is as a sectional rather than a bed because I want to vacuum and just put everything back in place. And then I am going to change my sheets and start washing the ones that are currently on my bed because I usually do that on off days just to kind of reset before starting another week. And then I'll check back in with you guys. <laughs> Also, all the couch pieces connect together, but I leave them unattached so that I can move them more freely, and they don't really slide because I have a rug. I am sweating. This always happens. 
probably don't know. You probably don't know. You know, most times I like to just keep it simple. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. All right. Let's get it. Ah. Uh. So it is now 11.34, I am officially sweating, and it's not even hard work, but just moving these cushions around and lifting up my mattress is a hard task apparently. But the repairman for my apartment complex is here right now fixing a little patch of my carpet, and then I am going to get up and head over to meet Akila for brunch. Also, I haven't updated you guys, but I got rid of my old TV stand that you guys have probably seen in prior vlogs. But I came across this on Facebook Marketplace and I almost shed a tear because I have wanted this for so long. But it matches my coffee table perfectly because I got my coffee table from Urban. I am so, 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 so happy I found this on Marketplace and the girl who sold it to me was so sweet. But yes, this is literally my new favorite piece in my house. It's such an eye-catching piece in my opinion and I can change out within these cubbies over time if I want to. But right now I just put little like bases and knickknacks in here for decoration, but I think it's the cutest thing ever and I am so glad I found it. But The brunch place we're going to is called Portage Bay Cafe. It's actually like really well known around here and there's multiple locations I'm pretty sure. There's like four just in the Seattle area. So it's pretty good. Anyways, I am excited. I think I'm either gonna get pancakes or French toast, one of the two, but both sound delightful right now because I am hungry. That smoothie only tided me over for a little bit. So it's about like 20 minute drive into the city and then I'll see you guys there. I am walking up to meet Akila right now. She is parking, but it's times like now where I'm grateful my mom and my driving instructor taught me how to parallel park because parking in the city is all parallel parking. So, about to walk in now and enjoy some brunch. brunch is done it was good but i tried this berry oatmeal cobbler french toast it was like new on their menu and i can't say i was 100 percent satisfied but you know sometimes you just have to try things and take an l but the chicken sausage and the eggs were good so it did it did what it needed to do but i wouldn't say it was a 10 out of 10 i'd say it was probably a 6 out of 10 harsh rating but yeah the french toast didn't it didn't uh, 
do it for me. So I am now going to head off to some thrift stores. I found a couple on TikTok that seemed super cute and that were close by uh, Portage Bay. So I'm going to go explore and hopefully find some cute little goodies. But if I don't, then that's okay too. I'm just here for the vibes, you know, and take advantage of already being in Seattle because I don't really come into the city extremely often. Okay, you guys, so the second place I went was kind of a failure for me. I think the second place I went was Crossroads, and it's definitely more of like an upscale, like vintage market uh, type thrift, not like a Goodwill or like cheap priced thrift, if you know what I mean. But I did find two things at the first place I went, which I'm pretty sure was Lifelong Thrift, and their prices were great, like a Goodwill price. and. I found this Ralph Lauren little black sweater tank top that I feel like can look cute over like a white blouse or something with a black skirt maybe and like some loafers or like black pants even, like some slacks. And I feel like you can dress it up or down. So this was only $5 and I thought that that was well worth it. And then I also found this cute little graphic tee that says, honey badgers don't care but my company does. And I just thought it was cute, like a cute vintage black and white, like graphic tee. And I thought it even looked cute with what I had on um, earlier or right now. And this was only $3. So I was like, why not? I think it'll look cute cropped, like kind of like tucked, tucked under um, with even like the pants I have on right now or any pair of pants really. I feel like graphic tees are just staples in my wardrobe at this point. And yeah, I think it's super cute. So my total for the day was $8. I found two things. Oh, thank can someone please tell me if they've ever had a bagel from McDonald's because I just simply can't believe this right now. I can't say I've ever seen or heard about McDonald's having bagels. Okay. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Should we go potty? Let's go potty. Today that I know the rules of falling in love. I finally see every time I close my eyes. I see different time, different place. Every time I switch lines. Find a way to hit me on anyway. guys i have just ordered my thai food like 25 minutes ago so it should be ready soon so so i am gonna take cash with me for a little joy ride around the town 
to go pick up this food and then come back and eat it. And then I also forgot that I went and picked up this bun cake yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna eat that for dessert because it will slap. But yeah. Oh, also I changed into my thrifted tee and I think it looks so cute. Just like a pair of sweats and my Adidas Samba, I mean, not Sambas, my Adidas Camps 2000s from earlier, but I think it's cute and you know, good pickup. Bag has been secured. Back with the goods. I'm currently tearing this bag up right now. I actually decided I'm gonna watch Love is Blind because I think I have like two more episodes to watch to be caught up. And it's kind of crazy. I am like shook because I don't know if you guys are watching, but you know, I love my reality TV and it's just insane what's happening on there right now. So you guys should tune in if you aren't already, but if you're not reality TV people, then maybe not. This is what it looks like. This is the pad tie. I don't want the lime to fall. So yum. Let's see the other. Mmm, yummy. So I'm just gonna make myself a bowl and then sit down on the couch. She crazy and you get way too attached. I can't ever see me going back. No, I keep on rolling. Just in case the circumstances like this, when I'm riding through the city, I can't take this guy. All right, we are slumped on the couch watching Love is Blind. That Thai food smacked, like, oh my gosh. Both of them were fire. And I'm so glad I'll have leftovers for tomorrow, but I'm pretty full right now. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and then Maybe after this episode, I will eat my bunk cake because that's just the perfect way to end my night. So I am gonna go to sleep after this and thanks for tuning in.